the Brooklyn Cyclones hat on. starting the vlog off with a little handheld shot because it is my Friday, aka it's Tuesday, the 4th of July. It said it was gonna storm all day. My friends and I were gonna go to Coney Island and have a beach day and then stay for the fireworks. But look at this, it's a beautiful sunny day now. It said it was gonna storm and in fact it did torrentially downpour. Right as I was leaving work at 11.30, I had to open a store this morning. Our new plan was to just go for dinner and to watch the fireworks, and now we might go a little earlier. I just finished up some work on the vlog that goes up tomorrow. I am officially done with my work for the next couple days, and I am so excited. I've had such a good week. My last vlog was just the last few days of me hanging out with my friends a ton. It's been a great week, but I have done stuff every single day after work and I'm feeling ready for a weekend. So I'm really excited to spend time with my friends and watch the fireworks today. And then tomorrow, uh, I'm ready to rot in my bed all day long. This is just gonna be a couple fun days in my weekend, even though it's the middle of the week for the rest of regular job people. Thanks for being here. Hi, I'm Cassie. I live in New York City, hence Coney Island. Um, I live in Midtown Manhattan though. I'm a barista by day, vlogger and lover of life by night and the rest of the time. Do you know what I'm gonna do? Stand by. I went and bought this on my way home from work. I'm not a huge sparkling water girl, but every so often I crave this specific flavor of, I don't know how to pronounce this, LaCroix? LaCroix? It's lemon cello flavor. Oh, it's so good. It's like rather flavorful. I feel like sparkling water usually isn't that flavorful, but this really is. I don't know how they do it. My friends and I are figuring out our plans, so I'll take you along for the ride. I just wanted to check in. Now that my work is done, it's the freaking weekend. Work hard, play hard, baby. Also, go check out my last vlog because honestly, it was so much fun to live, to edit, and I watched it last night after I uploaded it. Uh, go check it out. It was fun. Welcome to the vlog. Happy Independence Day. Don't forget that America is in shambles and queer people and poor people and really anyone of any minority ever are under attack and it's a scary place to be and register to vote. Okay, bye. Check it out vlog. I made some crispy tofu, green beans, and rice yesterday. I'm having the leftovers. Yeah, I'm gonna read my book. Still reading um, The Tools. And then I'm gonna start The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern because it's been downloaded on my Kindle forever. Then I'll be done through the books downloaded on my Kindle and I'll be able to start those books I showed in my last vlog. I just ate lunch. Then I took an hour and a half. Now I feel more tired. <laughs> really don't nap that much, but the last two nights I've had to get up at 5.40 in the morning. So I've just been feeling underslept. And I'm tired, so now I'm eating some candy. It's a little gloomy here in Manhattan now, and we think it's still raining at Coney Island, but we're all just gonna meet and have some drinks and some appetizers and just like hang out and hope for the best. Regardless, I'm mostly excited to just hang out with my friends, so I gotta figure out what to wear. Initially, I was planning on wearing shorts and a tank top with my swimsuit underneath, but I don't think swimsuits in the cars anymore. So we'll see what I come up with. Okay, vlog. This is the look. We've got the Brooklyn Cyclones hat on. Kind of for the meme, but I think it's good. I'm talking to the vlog. Oh, sorry. The oh, lady has yet. this cute <gasps> Brennan. Brennan. Brennan's here. Anyways, I'm wearing these earrings, some jewelry, this top that I think I thrifted, and the skirt from Forever 21 circa 2015. Back when they made actually not too bad of quality clothes. And I heart New York socks. I'm probably gonna wear tennis shoes. And I'm excited. I hope it's not raining when we get there, but we're going to a restaurant first to get hot dogs. I need a hot dog on the 4th of July. Probably some beers and stuff. Brennan! Okay, anyways, vlog. goodbye vlog. <laughs>
It is time to crash. I am looking sweaty and rough just back from the gym. Hello, friends. Ooh. I cannot keep wearing this shirt. It is so hot outside Ugh. and drenched in sweat. I did not have the motivation to go to the gym today, so I'm proud of myself for actually going. I only have the mental capacity to do 30 minutes on the cycling machine. I didn't go and do any of my like stretch or weight or Pilates kind of stuff. I usually do, but that's okay. As I've been on my gym journey over the last couple months, I have been trying to give myself a lot of grace. Basically, I told myself, if you get to the gym, that is enough. Even if I just go on a machine for 10 minutes, it's okay. But usually, obviously once I'm there, I'm like, I might as well do stuff. It's been great. There's this visual that I posted on my Instagram recently that a fitness girl that I really like and follow on Instagram shared. Now someone's trying to deliver something. Anyways, there is a girl that I follow on Instagram who posted this graphic about consistency that I think is really important. And I just tried to keep in mind as I've tried starting a lot of new healthy habits this year, I really have been focusing on discipline and just like taking care of myself for the sake of taking care of myself. Um, following her has really helped and just like telling myself all I need to do is go there. But hi everyone, I just launched right into my gym talk, but it is Thursday now. The 4th of July was Tuesday. Yesterday, I didn't vlog at all because yesterday was my rot day. <laughs> I listened to What We Said podcast and a couple episodes ago, JC and Chelsea were talking about how they just needed to rot in bed for the day. That is exactly what I did yesterday. I had had a busy week. I had had multiple nights of not sleeping very well. So yesterday I slept until 10. I did go to the gym still yesterday. Then I came back. I literally napped for three hours. I chatted with a friend, did a little yoga, finished my book. The tools was amazing. Highly recommend. It ended up being like a psychology meets spirituality book, which was exactly what I needed. And I literally ordered it online immediately after finishing it through my library book because I know it's something I'm going to want to return to. Really liked it. Finished that and I went to bed by 10. And then I had a crazy dream about Henry cheating on me, my boyfriend, that was so detailed and it just kept going on and on. It was like one of those dreams you wake up from and then you go back to sleep and it keeps happening. God, it was awful. But now it's Thursday. I just went to the gym and coffee hasn't been sounding very good lately. So I made some Yorkshire tea before I left and iced it with a little half and half. It's the spot, refreshing. I think we're just gonna finish the vlog up today. I really should do my laundry. I don't want to, but I, I should. I don't know how long the 4th of July segment was, but it was so much fun. Truly such an amazing night. Just hung out on the beach with some pals. There were enough of us that some of us were able to go on rides that they wanted to. I did not want to go on rides. I was content hanging on the beach. And next week, I think my boyfriend Henry and Brennan, who you saw, are going to and me are going to go to the beach on Thursday. It's gonna be fun to have an actual beach day, but even just being there, the weather was gorgeous, the sunset was stunning. It was just an amazing vibe. So highly recommend Coney Island for the fourth if you live in New York. Uh, I've been talking for five minutes. I'm gonna make my bed. I need to take a shower and have some breakfast and we'll see what we get into. tiny 
tripod broke. So now all my B-roll is from these weird angles. And it looks like I'm naked. Put on this little silky dress. It's just gonna be an at-home day. It's pretty warm here. I was gonna film a cute B-roll clip of me eating my oatmeal and reading my book, but now I'm just telling you that's what's about to happen. There was grass on a blanket I brought to the park, and now there's grass everywhere inside of this washing machine. Sorry <laughs> to my whole building. It's 2.30 now. Finished my laundry, did some water coloring, made some tea that I threw in the fridge about 30 minutes ago that I'll probably take out in about 30 more minutes. I'm a little headachy and like floaty and anxious today. I'm not really sure why. I had a video all about self-care that I was going to film today, but I think I'm gonna do tomorrow. That'll be coming soon. Also, I just made these Trader Joe's little pork buns. I love these things. Yeah, I'm just feeling a little floaty and anxious today. So I think the best way I can describe it. So on days like this, I do try and give myself some grace. Obviously, if there's something I really need to get done, I will. It was nothing incredibly pressing, so I'm trying to just be here. I started The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. I read The Night Circus a couple months ago, and I liked it, but I think I already liked this one better. I feel like I want to go outside, but it's so hot outside that I would be more miserable, I do believe. Just enjoying some inside time today. My watercolors are drying. Sorry for the major mood shift from the 4th of July. I went from being like high on life to a little wallowy. My dream put me in a weird mood and then I also got paid today which always puts me in a weird mood which I talked about a little in my July reset video. I resolved with myself that in October I will find a new job because honestly I just want to have enough money to live. Our world revolves around money and it's not a bad thing to want because you literally need it to live. Like, why am I being a martyr? I wanna go on vacations. I wanna go out to eat. I wanna buy new clothes and art supplies and maybe a new tiny tripod. And it is not bad to want those things. And it is possible to have those things. Those are my musings <laughs> on money. I'm gonna keep reading my book for now. On days where I'm feeling floaty and weird, I try a little bit to romanticize things. And it doesn't always necessarily help, but it feels a little better. So like, I'm lounging in this pretty dress, bask in the sun, and have some iced tea. My friend Emma got me this ice cube tray that makes ice that looks like a little star. I know it's not focusing. Look, it's so precious. I used the Trader Joe's winter wake up tea and a bunch of honey. So this basically tastes like an iced chai. It's so creamy and yummy. A little half and half. It's three now. I don't know why I'm feeling so weird. I think I'm supposed to start my period this coming week. So maybe that's affecting me. Also, my friend Sarah sent me all of these metal straws. You have heard of her many a time before because I love her company, Steady and Flight, and I love her company on this earth. But she sent me so many straws. Literally, this is only a portion of them. We have a bounty of straws. My mom also, unknowingly to me, sent me a few glass straws. This is an amazing opportunity to just revel in abundance. <laughs> and think of the ways that the universe is truly taking care of me. I mentioned not having straws and the universe said, we'll get you some straws. And now, Melanie and I never have to worry about who's using our one straw. Sometimes it's important to recognize the little ways that abundance shows up in our lives. I try and remind myself of those things specifically when I'm thinking about gratitude. How I never have to pay for coffee. Never have to buy gas. All kinds of stuff to be grateful for. 
if you really look around for it. And honestly, even if you don't really look around for it, sometimes it just takes noticing. A silicone ice cube tray. <sighs> Tricky idea. Also along with the straw, Sarah sent me this amazing color candle. I like almost don't want to light it. It's just serving as decoration on our table as you saw earlier. But she was like, I had to send you a rainbow for pride. And I opened it with Melanie right by me and we both freaked out over this candle. It's the little things, am I right? Whew, I feel like I need to have like a little dance party or something just to get me, get the weird energy out because there's some weird energy. Also my camera battery is about to die. pasta with the hot chili pepe sauce from Trader Joe's. It's pretty peppery and pretty good. I just chatted with my friend Anna Maria for a little bit on the phone and now it is 7.30 and we are coming to the point in the evening where I'm gonna start getting ready for bed. <laughs> that's what I do. So I'll see you tomorrow probably for a Trader Joe's haul. I think they're playing the Glee version of Hollow Notes in this Trader Joe's. I bought so many heavy things in my grocery shop today and we gotta get through this quickly because they're gonna melt. Oh my god. That's the big one. Hello friends. It is Friday afternoon and welcome to Cassie's Weekly Trader Joe's haul. Let's go. It really is more like a bi-weekly one though. This was a more expensive grocery shop. I think I spent $79 because I was picking up a few things that we're running out of. You'll see. First, I got some flowers though. They were $3.99 and they're just a baby bunch and I thought they were pretty. Super sour Scandinavian swimmers. I've been eating the tangy turtles, but I ate my last turtle yesterday and I love sour candy. So I figured, I love the regular Scandinavian swimmers. I figured the sour ones will be so good. A bell pepper and an onion. Vanilla bean sheet cake from Melanie. Honey. Balsamic vinegar, olive oil. This is why this is so heavy. <laughs> One mac and cheese. I know, crazy. Mango, peanut butter, three avocados, and sparkling water. This was only 99 cents, and I've been kind of on a sparkling water kick, so I figured this will be a cheaper way to do that, and I think I'll just cycle through the flavors. <laughs> that was bag one. No wonder it was so heavy. That's where all the bottles were. <laughs> a mushroom and a tomato tart. I started getting both just because I like them both. The mushroom one is like a little more salty than the tomato one, so sometimes I'm in more of a savory mood, and that's the one I go for. I really need to like defrost my freezer or something because the edges are icy. See. Protein oat milk, string cheese. I've loved keeping this in the fridge. Ah, uh, this was a new purchase. It's meatless ground meat, but it's like crunchy and then you put water in it and boil it. I figured we'd try it out because I'm gonna do a burrito night this week. Tomatoes, I love these little heavenly ones. They're so good. Broccoli, baby zucchini, and finally, bananas. So that is it everyone, that is the haul. It is Friday afternoon. I stopped by Trader Joe's on the way home from work and now I'm settling in to edit this vlog. I also think I'm gonna wash my hair for the first time since I got it dyed. I took the day off work tomorrow because my friend Destiny's birthday is next Tuesday, but tomorrow a bunch of us are gonna go see a free Kalila concert in Prospect Park. So that'll probably be in a different vlog, but I took the day off tomorrow for that. And I'm also babysitting tomorrow. So I guess I don't really have the day off, but tomorrow we'll begin a new vlog 
and I want my hair to be nice for the concert. Henry came and visited me at work today because he literally landed at midnight last night and now he's already headed to Pennsylvania for a wedding until Sunday. So he came to work and gave me a big hug and it was so nice to see him and I'm really happy to have him soon back in the city. We're gonna do a beach day next week and my friend Destiny's birthday is on 7-Eleven. It's just been good summer vibes. So I'm happy, but I am sweating all day every day the east coast summers are no joke the humidity is deranged to be honest with you like it is not for the faint of heart thank you so so much for watching i feel like it wasn't very interesting it was like the fourth of july coney island fun and then like just me at home being kind of lethargic and anxious but i'm feeling a little better today glad i got a little bouquet of flowers make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the adventures Please go do something that makes you happy today. You so, so deserve it. See you again next week. I can't wait. Okay, bye.